Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I'm Penge and welcome back to Ixion, where last time everything went very, very well indeed. In fact, everything went a little bit too well, I would say, suspiciously well almost, which does lead me to believe that maybe something fantabulously bad is going to happen very soon, but for now we'll keep on doing what we've been doing. We're currently researching how to defrost people a little bit quicker, because we're still 900 people short of that goal there. But with that in mind, I think maybe we do need to get some more housing over here in Sector 4, which is where all the defrosted people are sent to go and live, because I think we might possibly be pushing the housing limit. So let's go and have a little look, shall we? Sector 4 currently has 820 people living in it, and there's 896 housing capacity. So yeah, we do need to get some more housing in there to make sure that we can house another 900 people or so. I think what we'll do is we'll start with just a few houses over here. We'll get the demotic quarters in because they're the best type of housing. I think what do they need again? What do they need? Was it one electronics and 80 alloys? Okay, we're fine to build three of these, I think. Okay, so get one there, one there, and one there. They hold 90 people, I think. So what's that? 90, 180, 270 more people. That's quite a lot of people. Okay, that's good. So get that road in as well so people can get to it. And I think they should be able to get that done pretty quickly. So let's move time on nice and fast. Get that research done as well to make sure that we are defrosting people very quickly indeed. Is there anything we need to do out here in the galaxy itself? I don't think there is. I think we've got all the research from everywhere. I don't think there's anything left for us to kind of discover in terms of planets or whatever. So hang on. So where are the ships? The Montessori is back on the Tycoon. The scope is over there at Crook P42. I think we still do have people on Crook P42. Yeah, we've still got people sort of, you know, set up over there. So I think maybe we leave the scope over there for now because they might present some research in a bit and say, hey, we found out all this exciting stuff. And then that ship can pick up the research points. We'll leave you over there for now. But, oh, there you go. I think we just picked up some science from there. Maybe that's what happens. Maybe every so often, because they've got these sort of, you know, the colonists out there, Maybe they do, do just sort of produce some science points and that science ship is slowly but surely grabbing them. Yeah, look, hang on a sec. Oh, oh, okay. They've completed their tests. Oh, that was wonderful. Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Well, that was slightly weirdly timed given we were looking at it. Right, so hang on. Let them pick up that final science point. Okay, that's good. And then what happened over here? We finished our colonization test on Crook P42. Colonization success rates on planets like P42 are estimated to be 25.12%. Please authorise extraction preparation. I mean, that's okay. It's not brilliant, but yeah, it's better than 5.12%. Um, okay, so repatriate the colonists or sever communication with the colonists. I mean, that's terrible. No, we'll go and get them back. It's fine. Repatriate them. Go and get them back, please. I don't quite know who's going to go and pick them up because I thought maybe we were supposed to, aren't we supposed to assign a ship to go and pick them up? Maybe somebody will just go and do that. I don't know how we go about and do that. Um, I noticed down here we do have a thing that says activate missile countermeasure, but it's greyed out. Do we need to build something to allow us to construct missile countermeasures? Is it like a new sort of drone thing or something? Hang on, pause time for a second. Because I imagine that all came from the um, the Piranesi research, didn't it? I imagine at some point when we bump into the Piranesi, it might fire missiles at us. Because otherwise, why do we have all the missile kind of, you know, defense system things down there? Um, so is it a new thing we need to build? Like we have the drone bay, wherever that is, which is at uh, the probe launch. That's it. So we've got that thing. It's nothing to do with that, though, by the look of it. How do we build those things? How do we go about building missile countermeasures? It just says no countermeasure available. I think we've done the research. I'm fairly certain we've got all that research stuff done. Piranesi, yeah, hacking threat analysis, missile threat, drone threat. So we've got all that kind of stuff done. I'm not quite sure why or how we go about doing the next bit of that. Is it a thing here? Is it a thing that we need to build on the outside of the ship? Um, engines and external... Ooh, a drone jammer. Okay, maybe it's one of those. Disrupts drone targeting systems by flooding BMS frequencies with false data. Okay. Right, so the Piranesi might send drones at us as well. Okie doke. Um, how about then we get one of those in? How about we build one of those? It will require four electronics and 90 polymers. T Tis nothing compared to what we've got. So yeah, okay. 
Um, I think it'll be okay. They should be able to get plenty of electronics over there. Let's build the drone jammer then. Get one of those in, please. They need to ship all the resources over first, which is okay, so I'll get there eventually. Um, yeah, the electronics might be a bit of a problem. How are we on gathering silicon out there? There's an, Oh, hang on. Pause time. There's none left to sort of mine out there. So the Mecca and the Etna have done the mining of all the silicon we could find. But there is still quite a lot to go and collect. There's plenty of iron out there. Carbon, a little bit of carbon around. Okay, what we'll do is then, what we'll do is, there's plenty of hydrogen to pick up as well. Crikey, there's loads of stuff. How about we have the Mecca working on some ice, because that'd be handy. And maybe for now, the Etna could work on carbon. And then at some point, we'll top back up on iron again. Yeah, okay, do that. I think that should be okay. Um, yeah, people are grabbing pretty much everything. Yeah, okay, wonderful. It's all ticking over quite well. Yeah, suspiciously well. A few people in the comments said, oh, that went well on the last video. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? And it was a little bit sort of, yeah, nothing bad happened, really. Nothing terrible happened. Nothing, you know, exploded in a big dramatic way. It all sort of went quite well which this game doesn't let you get away with for very long, as we've seen. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. I also thought as well, trust is a little bit flaky in a few of the sectors. So for example, one, two, and three, they're sort of particularly three as well. It's only going up by 0.9%. If something bad were to happen, if we were to get another sort of uh, permanent uh, debuff thing, oh, hang on, hang on. The science ship scope has completed something at something. Crook P42, was it? Hang on. Did it pick up all this stuff? Oh, okay. The colonists are prepared for extraction. They're waiting for cargo ship retrieval. Oh, that's how we get the, the next bit done. Okay. So I assume what happened was, yeah, they, um, they you know, I don't know, de delivered all their science to the science ship, and now they're ready to be picked up from their little kind of base type thing. Okay, right. That's absolutely fine. So somebody should go and pick them up. Hang on a minute. Um, They can go back. Oh, no. We're going to have to move them to sector two possibly and then shifty them over to sector four or something um because yeah sectors uh, and they could go to sector three actually hang on hang on so you don't bring back that for now uh yeah low hang on medium priority on that and high priority on the colonists and then we'll move them over to sector four when they're done because sector four is where they can live okay wonderful yeah so back to the uh, trust over here if something does happen if there's another permanent effect type thing. Let's say we end up in the next system in a huge, big, terrifying storm or a great big cloud of doom or whatever. Then, yeah, people are going to not like us very much. Maybe we do need to build some fancy kind of morale improving thingamajigs. I mean, what have we got? We've got the alternative life centers. That's just plus one stability. Nice and simple. Nothing complicated. That sort of, um, yeah, what does that do? Tech tree upgrades and all that kind of stuff. That increases stability while it's below zero. Hopefully won't get to that point. The whole temples. So we did kind of, we unlocked these and we haven't built any. I don't think we have a single hull temple anywhere. They provide stability while the cult of the hull is propagating in a sector. Okay, so how much do we have with the cult of the hull? I think they appear here possibly. Does it tell us? Yes, the cult of the hull are in sector four and in sector three and in Sector 2, and in Sector 1. The only thing is, do we want to encourage a cult? Is that going to be a bad thing? Is that going to cause problems later on? I suspect it might do. So I think what we should do is, they've got an alternative life center in Sector 3. Have they got one over here? No, they... Oh, we took one out, didn't we? We took it out. Okay, hang on, we'll come back to that event. So, right, we've got to get one into Sector 2. Sector 1 we could do with one of those, although I have no idea where it's going to go because Sector 1 is a complete disaster architecturally. It's all over the shop. Not quite sure what's happening anywhere in Sector 1. It's a big old mess. So, um, yeah, we'll try and get one over here into Sector 1. We do need to get some more batteries as well. Sector 1 has 7.2 cycles of backup. Sector 2 only 5.9 and Sector 3. So Sectors 2 and 3 could do with some more batteries as well. So there's plenty to be getting on with. And um, yeah, we're still slowly getting through the Cryonic Pods things, which is good. Um, so, right, hang on. Event first. What is happening? Oh, there you go. Just as I was saying, we might have a bad thing. There is a bad thing. Administrator, it has emerged that the concerning results of our earlier colonization tests have been leaked, leading many in the crew to believe we are just delaying the hour humanity ends. 
whoever releases information bears responsibility for the rise in dead earth sickness that has followed. Okay, so that is kind of what I was saying. Bad things are going to happen and they're going to bring trust down. So I think, yeah, we tr need to try and sort that out. So sector one, sector two, yeah, sector three does have an alternative life center. I think we put one into sector four as well. So let's get one into sector four. Um, do you know what? We just put it opposite that thing. Hang on. Can it took somewhere else? Can it? Oh, hang on. It could go there. It can go just there. We'll pop that just there. So an alternative life center can go there. They've got one, which is good. Over here did have one, but now they don't. So I think we do need to get one sorted out. I mean, yeah, could it fit up here now? Could we fit one up there if we rejig the roads possibly? Um, yes, we could fit one up there. That might possibly affect the flow of the sort of traffic around there. But I think, yeah, we can get one up into there. Look, we just have to take that road out. But do you know what? It's fine. Nobody goes up that way anyway. It's okay. So we'll leave that like that. Look, they can get to the battery via there, that side. So that's not too bad. Run time on those people can vanish. Right, alternative life center into there, please. So that'll help out. Um, and then sector one. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a gap there. Can it fit in that gap? No, no, it can't fit in that gap, Penge. Don't get so excited about that. That's a terrible idea. Okay, right, it can't fit into that gap there. Never mind, abandon that plan. Um, Optimise quarter, demotic quarters around there. We've got demotic quarter, demotic quarter. Optimise, right, two optimised quarters and an infirmary just there. What if we get rid of... That optimised quarter there. How are we looking for housing in sector one? Hang on. So I think we can get rid of that and then we can replace that one as well. So hang on, replace that one first. So get rid of you. That can go away. And then we'll replace it with a proper demotic quarter. More people can live there. It's better quality. People are happier. And then we'll get rid of that building. And then maybe in that gap... The whatever it is, the thingamabob alternative life center might be able to fit into there. That would be quite good. Can we take that building apart? Wonderful. Right, so population wise, drop another one of those into there next to the infirmary. Wonderful. Okay, so get working on that. And as soon as that's done, we'll take that thing apart and then see. Hang on, hang on. While they work on that, can that thing actually fit in? Alternative life center. Um. Oh, I think... Okay, right. I think it can. I think it can fit just there in this terrible layout. It's not going to be pretty. We might have to rejig the roads around there, but that's probably okay. That's sort of okay. I don't think it's going to fit in sideways very well. It fits in better like that. It's not going to make uh, transport around there very good, but that's okay. We'll muddle through. We'll get that sorted. Right, okay. Can we have one piece of electronics over here, please? Because that will help out a great deal in doing the building stuff that we need to do. Oh, and I think they've just completed work on the drone jammer. That's very good indeed. Okay, so that's good. Now, can we build some sort of missile defense things now with that? No, how do we activate missile countermeasures? I don't know how we do that. I kind of feel like that's an important thing that we should be able to do, but we can't. Maybe it's an upgrade or something. We have got quite a pile of science points. Um, hang on a second. Hang on. Let's make sure that things are getting built because, yeah, electronics are in short supply. So they're working on that place there, which is good. So that new demotic quarter is going to go in, which is wonderful. So we just get that sorted first. And when everything's kind of done, we'll then go and do some science. But I'll lose track otherwise. Right. So that is in, which means we can now take that thing apart, which is going to be fine. So get rid of that, please. Destroy that one. That should come apart nice and quick. Plenty of storage for the alloys. So they take that apart. And then we have to, yeah, try and fit in the thingamabob life center in here. Yeah, plus 1.1%. It's, yeah, we're struggling a bit with that. Right, so how are we going to fit this in then? So alternative life center. I think, yeah, it works better if we put it in like that. So we have to get rid of... The roads around here. Okay, that's fine. Now that's build road. So get rid of that and get rid of... I think it's to about there, isn't it? I think that means it will fit in. Yeah, okay. So pop that in like that. Also get rid of that road there because we could possibly fit a little bit of housing there if we have to. A bit of wasted space there, but never mind. And then over here, look, we can connect that up to there and then possibly 
We might have to sort of do a bit of a wonky road thing down here just to allow people to go through a bit easier rather than having to go all the way around because the road there is very much blocked off. So, um, yeah, that's not ideal. But there we go. Right, so that is now in. At least it's, you know, in in terms of, you know, we'd like to build that. I think everywhere else has now got one. So Sector 1's is underway. Sector 2's is over there, which is wonderful. Sector 3's is in place just there. And I think, yeah, Sector 4's... I know Sector 4's needs a piece of electronics. And they need another bit down here as well. So at the moment, electronics is really important. They're really key things that we need to do so much more advanced stuff. Early on in the game, electronics wasn't really that important. We didn't need too much of it. We had a few bits and bobs lying around. But now it's really key to building all the kind of fancy things. Okay, right, that's fine. They'll muddle through with it eventually. How are we doing on actually building stuff? I'm making it over here. I think we may have just possibly finished another bit. Oh no, we're waiting for some silicon to come in, look. There's 18 bits of silicon. Oh, hang on, there's an event over there. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Stop it! Stop giving us bad things happening, Game C. Look, I told you, suspiciously well last time, and now it's going, hey, everyone's now really sad. Since leaving Earth, we have lost 200 crew members. Even without being an expert in Dr. Munch's crowd psychology theories, it will not escape a notice that as the number of deaths increases, so too does the prevalence of dead Earth sickness. Okay, so another minus one stability penalty, which we're trying to counteract with all of our alternative life centre things. We're trying our best to do that. We might also, in Sector 4, need to go over and do some intense propaganda at them. Because at the moment we're not doing intense propaganda over in Sector 4. We're doing you know, light, you know, lovely propaganda. And yeah, they're only neutral over there at the minute. So maybe we should try to get that sorted. Do you know what? We'll change that over. I mean, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to give um, you know, generous food portions to people. Because we do have a lot of food. We've got so much food going on. Although as we start defrosting more people, we are going to need more and more food. Okay, hang on. So, intense propaganda over there in Sector 4, please. Yes. Okay, so that should make Sector 4 a little bit jollier. And then they'll get their alternative life centre in as well, eventually. And that'll make them even happier than that, which is wonderful. So Sector 4 at the moment, really jolly. About a thousand people in Sector 4. That's a lot of people. How are the working conditions? Oh, hang on a minute. Sector 3, Sector 2, Sector 1, all working extra hours. Oh, Okay, right, that's not good. Maybe we do need to move some people about. So Sector 4, they need 46 workers. They've got 188. Okay, Sector 3, you need just a handful of people. So can we move only workers, move 20 workers from Sector 4 to Sector 3? And then how many do we need in Sector 2? They need one more worker. Okay, so move 20 workers from Sector 4 to Sector 2. And in Sector 1... They need, yeah, a handful of workers. So again, move 20 over from Sector 4 to Sector 1. Okay, so they can be... Oh, hang on. Can we only move two things at a time? Maybe we can only move two things at a time because now we're not moving them to Sector 2, it seems. Okay, maybe we can only have two migrations undergo at the moment at, at one time. But okay, that's fine. Right, Sector 4 to Sector 1 is taking a while because, of course, it does because it's further away. So I think, yeah... We are. Oh, no, I think they, I think Sector 3, they went to Sector 3 almost instantly, did they? Uh, no. Sector 2 didn't get any at all. All right, so Sector 1 should be looking pretty good. Yeah, that's looking good in terms of workers. They've got a surplus of, what's that? 60, 13. Okay, massive penge. They need one. They've got a surplus as well. That's good. And they've got plenty of workers left. Do you know what? Let's move 30 over from Sector 4 to Sector 2, just to make sure that there's plenty of workers in Sector 2 available. They can then move things over. It's going to be fine. Just to make sure that does actually work. And then I think as well, if they do have optimal working conditions, that's going to make them happier, which should help with the trust as well. So there we go. Sector 2 now has plenty of workers. So just a quick check. Optimal working conditions and happy. Optimal working conditions and happy. And optimal working conditions and happy. That is wonderful. And... Something is wrong with the iron stockpile? What's happened to the iron stockpile? Not enough... No connected stockpile has enough iron. Uh, oh. Hang on, hang on. Iron. 
Where's our iron stockpile over here? Um, it's it's just there. Uh, why is that? Oh, I've removed the... Hang on, let me put that road back in that I removed. Yeah, that's a bit silly, isn't it? Hang on a minute, buildy bot, come and put the road back in. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't be allowed to be in charge of things. There we go, look, I've put the road back in. Yay, everything is fine again now. Wonderful, sorry about that, folks. We're racking up quite a lot of science points right now. Maybe it might be worth going to spend those on some lovely new researchy bits and bobs. I think maybe what I'd like to do first is make ourselves move about a bit quicker. Let's get the tycoon moving a bit faster. So if we do need to move between locations, if there is, say, another great big storm going on, we're going to move a bit quicker, which means we're less reliant on battery power because we have to rely on batteries when we're moving about. So I think, yeah, we'll get that done. That seems like a pretty good plan. That's only 32 as well. So research that. And then where are we going to find these kind of missile thingamajigs? Where is that? That's got to be somewhere. Is it in the drone bay, possibly? Oh, no, hang on. A drone bay. We don't have a drone bay because we haven't unlocked one. Constructs and stores drones. Drones can be used to quickly transfer up to 10 units of resources at a time between sectors. Hang on a second. We haven't got a drone bay unlocked. That is a thing that we haven't got unlocked yet. Oh, okay. How intriguing. I hadn't even thought about that kind of thing. Uh, the fire stations... I mean, yeah, they're not upgraded either. That would be handy to do as well. Fire station vehicles moving quicker would not be a bad thing at all. The risk foresight workshop upgrade. Hang on, where's the workshop? Down here. Um, risk foresight power overloads have a lower chance of generating accidents. That'd be quite good. And they'd make buildings quicker. Do you know what? Cue that up then. Get that done. And then we'll make the fire stations work quicker. Just because if the Piranesi is firing missiles at us, which I suspect it might do, because we have ourselves some sort of missile defence system, I think maybe there might be some fires, and we could do with putting them out. So yeah, let's get that done. That won't take that long at all. Look at this, flying through. And all the time we're generating our own science as well, because the tech lab is making more science points. So I think here we've got another couple of bits of research to go in after this, which is wonderful. So get that done. They can move, yeah, 50% quicker. That's really good. And then what else do we want to get? I mean, the stockpiles, a large stockpile, not so bothered. Cargo ships, they can store more stuff. That could be handy. Um, but yeah, where do we fire the missiles? Game, where do we where do we build the missiles? I kind of feel like we need some missile defense and we haven't got any yet. So let me see if I can figure out where that might be. Okay, I've taken a look around and I can't find anything that looks like a missile shooting, missile firing thingamajig anywhere. So maybe it's not a research thing. Maybe it'll just come into action when we actually meet the Piranesi and we have a need to build some sort of defenses. Maybe then it'll spring into life. But for now, I think let's park that idea and let's hope that's not a terrible, terrible mistake that we come to regret later. And I think maybe let's get our crop farms working a bit better, shall we? maybe get personalised instructions up and running and that means that food production speed is increased by 40% which is quite good so we'll queue that up as well and even with that done that's only 27 research points that's going to leave us with another couple of bits of research to do after they're both done as well which is very good so okay get time ticking on how are we looking over here did we get that done those two buildings are done so the two homes are in we're still waiting for a piece of electronics for the alternative life centre and one more piece of electronics for the fancy demotic quarter over there. Okay, so still waiting on that. How are we doing for this? Ah, we're lacking silicon. Okay, that is a little bit of a problem. Okay, bring Horny and Mimis Brunner. Please bring back much in the way of silicon to Sector 3 because we need all of it to make more and more fancy bits of electronics so we can build more exciting things. There are 278 frozen people stuck in the docking bay over here in Sector 2. That's quite a lot of people over there. And we're just bringing more and more in. The whole docking bay is full of cryopods. Okay, hang on. Who's bringing cryopods back? Maybe what we could do is... In fact, that is the only thing coming back to Sector 2. That's actually okay. I have no problem with that. I was thinking, oh no, it's stopping other things from going in, but that's the only thing going back there. So that's not too bad, actually. That is okay. We can muddle through with that. I think our science is looking good already. Okay, right. That's good. I was thinking, hang on. Where's the, um, the fusion station thingamajig? Whereabouts is that? The nuclear power plant, that's what I was thinking of. So, genome correction, construction cost down by 40%. Not so bothered about that, but then look, 
the power cost of the actual station itself is reduced by 10 and then 20, oh no, reduced by 10 and then 20 fewer workers. That'd be quite good. The thing is, it's really expensive in terms of its sort of research costs. We can get either one of those in, but that's pointless. Construction costs down by 40%. It's already built. We don't need to do that. We're not so first. What about the electronics factory? What can we do with that? 10 fewer workers. Do you know what? That's probably not a bad thing. That frees up workers to go and do something else, I guess. Polymer refinery, production speed increased. And that might be quite handy, I suppose. Do you know what? Get that look. Get that. And then can we then queue up, say, that one as well? Can we queue up that one? Just make the factories a bit better. What's the next steel mill thing? Power costs reduced by two. I'll say four power. Do you know what? We'll do that, actually. Just to improve our factories a bit, that's okay. Right, get time ticking on. Can we get some electronics over here, please? Because Sector 4 have been very patiently waiting for the electronics for a long time now. So if we could just you know, shuffle them over, that would be wonderful. Oh, hang on a minute. That might be why no electronics are heading over to Sector 4, because Sector 1 is demanding them all. Hang on, for now, bring that down to 4. So Sector 1 only needs 4 bits of electronics. Uh, sector 2 needs 2, Sector 3 needs 2, Sector 4 needs 2. Okay, so we've got six right now on board the station. So I think sector one, two, and three should be covered. So I think then any new bits should go over into sector four eventually, at some point, one day. How near are we to making some more stuff? Oh, hang on a minute. Have they still not bought back any silicon? Please bring back silicon. What are you two doing? Ring Horny and the other one. Bring back silicon. Ah, I see a problem. Right. It's full of silicon and iron. Right, okay, that would be an issue. However, could we build, say, just here, not silicon, hydrogen, sorry. Could we build over here a great big storage thing? Could we build in maintenance one of the medium stockpiles? If we put it there, look, get rid of that road. Um, hang on, where's the, where's the front of this? Is that the front? If we get rid of that, is that bad? I don't know where the front of the electronics factory is. Hang on a minute, hang on. Can we figure that out? Go to electronics factory. Um, it's, uh, hang on a minute. It's got some pipes on that side, which don't look like those. Will. Ah, yeah, I think, hang on a minute. Rotate it round. That, this, this is the front here. That's the front. Okay, oh, there's a door. That would have helped as well. Looking where the door is is also quite a useful way of figuring out where the front of the building is. Yeah, look, there's the front door. Right, okay, so we don't need that road. We don't need that little road going through there. That's still connected to a road just there. So I think what we do is let's delete that road there. And then in here, put in one of the gigantic stockpile thingamajigs. That's quite handy. And in here, store hydrogen because it's right next to the thing which needs hydrogen. It does need an electronic component to it, but that's fine. It's gone in already. And as soon as that's built, they will be able to clear that out of hydrogen and then they can ship more things into. The problem is that's full. That's just full of 173 units of hydrogen. Some silicon did creep in, which is good. But yeah, if we could get that done, that'd be fantastic. And then all of a sudden, as soon as that's done, we should see a lot of things pouring out of here, carrying goods around. Look at that. Many little kind of truck things flying through. That's going to fill up. That's really good. Okay, and that means, yes, they can put more silicon into here. Then we can make more electronics. Then we can get more stuff done because Sector 4 is still very patiently, perhaps impatiently now waiting for some electronics over here so they can finish doing some stuff. So hopefully that will help out quite a bit. That's still full of frozen people, but that's okay. That's what we want. Um, and then over here, it's just got some iron in in the docking bay in Sector 1, which is fine. They'll use that up eventually. Right, okay. Oh, and the... um. The alternative life center thing is in over there. That's quite good. That's quite encouraging. Uh, okay, yeah, things are looking pretty good. Things are looking like they're ticking over okay, apart from over here in poor Sector 4, of course. But yeah, soon, hopefully, we can get all that sorted. Because yeah, look, there's now hardly any hydrogen in there, which is brilliant stuff. So there's loads of room in there now to bring back much in the way of silicon. And hang on a minute. What are they, April? Hang on. Silicon. So much silicon just came back. That's enough to make another couple of bits of electronics. That is wonderful. And yeah, if we just load that up, 
And there we go. Right, they can make another two bits, which is very exciting. Oh no, hang on, I got a little bit too excited there. They only make one electronics every three cycles, but there are two in the sector right now. That's what that two means. That's still okay. That's still absolutely fine. So I think now anything extra, any new bits of electronics, should then come over here. I'm fairly certain that's how it's going to work, because all the others have got their quota of electronics. So hopefully, as soon as that is done, we should see it go over to Sector 4, and then immediately they're going to then uh, take it to it. Or is it going to go to... it might go to Sector 1, possibly. Okay, never mind. They can make some more, look. They can make some more electronics, and it shall be fine. And eventually it'll go over here. Given what we just saw, maybe we should make our docking bays a little bit more spacious and get storage optimization to make them store 20% more resources. That might be quite a handy thing to do. Yeah, we'll have that, please. Also, I've just noticed something very alarming indeed. Hang on. Hang on, go to Sector 2. Sector 2, how are you looking for water, Sector 2? Sector 2 is looking good for water, which is very handy because we hardly have any ice. Why are we not gathering ice, Sector 2? Oh, because I told you to not do that. I told you to not get ice. I said, hey, go and get frozen people, which you have dutifully been doing, Neshmet. Okay, don't do that. Please go and get ice as a matter of urgency because we're going to run out of ice, which means we can't get water, which means we can't grow anything, which means we're all going to starve to death, and that will be bad. Right, so there's plenty of ice out there, so we don't need you to go and mine any more ice. I think possibly, yeah, there's 899 carbon out there, so maybe you two go back to mining iron. There's 2,000 iron out there ready to be collected, no, ready to be mined, 179 ready to be collected, so I think that'll be quite helpful. Um, yeah, so silicon, ah, right. You don't have to go and pick up the people anymore, because that's fine. We'll move them over in a second. And um, yeah, you go and grab silicon as well, please. Mimis Brun is grabbing both of those. We want two to grab silicon. Maybe you don't do that then. You grab iron and bring that back. You're grabbing food, but there's no food out there. That's fine. Hydrogen is okay. Ice coming back to sector three. Uh, does sector three have ice storage? I assume it. Yeah, there. Oh, that's where it is. It's only in Sector 3. Ah, okay. So Sector 2 has got no ice in its storage at all. That's not very good, is it? That's not good. Um, could we could we fit one of the big thingamajigs in here? Uh, oh, we can. We can fit a big storage thing in there. That's quite good. That does fit quite well into that gap. I wonder what we can store in it. Can we store, say, I don't know, frozen people? What if... What if we store frozen people in that one, or maybe ice in that one, and then take those two down and store frozen people? Or do we store frozen people in that one, and then ice in that one? Because I think we can build on top of that as well. Can we? How wide are they? They are... they're four wide. Ah, no. Okay, we can't do that because it has to point out the side. So the only reason that one works is because there's a tiny bit of road linking to that just there. Okay, never mind. Abandon that plan. Forget that. Don't worry about that one. Oh, and look at that. We do now have a bit of a homelessness issue in Sector 4 because we're waiting for that demotic quarter to be put together. Okay, can we get another one of those in? Because that's going to go up very quickly indeed, isn't it? Okay, get another one of those in. Get the road in as well, like that. Wonderful. Right, yeah, we need to get electronics over here really soon. I think they are working on it. And I think, yeah, any time now, they should then be sending it over to Sector 4, he says. Although I've said this before many times, but I think yeah, either there or there, we should see some electronics being delivered. They're putting all the alloys over there, which is fine. So loading up the alloys into that building. Oh, I think the electronics just went into there. I think they just put the electronics straight into that building there. So that building there and that building there have been waiting for a long time. I don't know how long a cycle is in terms of real life time, but they've been waiting for, I don't know, days, weeks, months possibly. And that building just appears and they go, oh yeah, give the electronics to that building there. <laughs> That'd be annoying, wouldn't it? That would be irritating. But uh, yeah, we need to get that in because already there are now 42, 43 homeless people. We're defrosting people very quickly indeed and they need to go and live somewhere. So, okay, right, we need to get a few more of these in as well, I suspect. So put another one in just there at the very least. And then, yeah, if we get that in like that, just to make sure that's fine. And right, they're working on that. So all the materials are in. We've got Buildybot over there doing some building. If we could do that quickly, Buildybot, that'd be wonderful. Oh, and that one's ready to be built as well. Excellent news. Okay, right, so that'll sort the housing problem out 
for now. There we go. So we've got people living in there. And then you can build that. And that gives us another 90 people to live in there. So that should cover, what, another 140 or something people. That one there is going to be about 200 people. Yeah, I do want to get that done as well. We do need to get the alternative life centre done. How are we looking for? Silicon, got loads of it now. Look at that. We are working through this. This is going very, very well. Suspiciously well. What are you going to throw at us next game? Okay, Sector 1 are working extra hours again, which is making them a little bit sad. Why is that? Why have the work numbers come down again? We didn't build anything new, I don't think. Oh, no, we did. We built the alternative life centre, of course. We did. Hang on a second. Hang on. What is the current housing capacity of Sector 1? Oh, we can fit loads of people in. Sector 4 has many, many workers. Okay, only workers. Sector 4 to Sector 1. I know. Move 40 of them over, please, just to make sure that Sector 1 is covered for a good long time. Yeah. Get that done, please. That's going to be fine. And that means Sector 1 will have proper working hours, which means there'll be less accidents and less people dying and all that kind of stuff. So there you go. All good news as soon as they actually move over to their new house in Sector 1. And maybe the same has happened over here in Sector 3 because we built that big storage thing. So, yep. OK, hang on. Let's move some people over from Sector 4 to Sector 3. Still loads of people in Sector 4 available for work. So, do you know what? Yep, move them over. Move over another, yeah, 40. That'll do. And it should be quick. Because they're next door and they can get the train, which is exciting. So, yep, in you go. Wonderful stuff. And boop. That should that should sort that out. Sector 3. Are you happy with the additional workers? They're optimal. Still extra hours. Or oh, did I just move them the wrong way round or something? Oh, hang on. There's a fire in Sector 3. And um, we do have fire engines. Oh, no, the thing is on fire. The dock is on fire. Um, Yeah, we do have fire engines that should be moving about nice and quick. Although I'm not entirely sure where they are. Oh, there they are. There they are. You can't miss it. Nice big red fire engine. Um, okay, hang on a second. Maybe when that's sorted out, the uh, working conditions will change a bit, possibly? No. Okay, right. Never mind. We'll just move some more people over. It's fine. So can we move people over from Sector 4 to Sector 3? How many have we got now? Still plenty of workers in Sector 4. So do you know what? Move 20 over. Oh, they needed two more people. Do you know what? Move 30 over. Sector 4 to Sector 3. Should be nice and fast. Get that done. Look at that. Just next door. They can walk over. Do a little stroll. Some can get the train. Some can have a nice walk. Right. So it should be. I've just put any crew. I just moved any crew over. I want workers. <laughs> That's the problem. That I've just put 40 crew members. I've just put 70 people from Sector 3 into uh, Sector 4 into Sector 3. I want workers going over. There we go. That sorted that out now. Oh, dearie me, Penge. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Plenty of people living over here in Sector 3. It's wonderful. Sector 3 is the place to be. Look at all the machines. And look at that. Sector 4 finally has the electronics it was promised. We've got the alternative life centre there. And we have the new demotic quarters down here. I think maybe we could do with getting another one of those in. Although... I think we have got less people living here now, of course, because we just sent them over to Sector 3. So we might be okay for a while, but we are going to need more at some point, of course. What are we looking at now? Sector 4 housing can cope with another, what, about 300 people? So I think if they all went into there, it's just... Oh, okay. It's just shy of our total. Administrator, a group of recently awakened survivors from the Etamananki are receiving a cold welcome from the Tycoon crew. Those from the Protagoras have not forgotten how UN forces killed many of their crewmates. Okay, send the crew members from the Etamananki for psychiatric treatment to ensure their docility. Well, that sounds a little bit... That's a bit chilling, isn't it? So send them to make sure that they are docile. Basically, you know, sort of wipe their brains and make them think differently. Any employee showing signs of animosity toward another employee will be sent to a care centre for psychiatric rehabilitation... Or a little rivalry never hurt. No, I'd like it if you could all get on. I don't like a little rivalry never hurt, because I want us to be all harmonious, but I don't want to go and effectively wipe the brains of the people from the Etamananki, because, you know, what's the point of saving humanity if we don't act in a humane way? So, um, yeah, let's go for that middle one. Please be nice to each other. If you're not, we'll tell you off a bit. There we go. Oh, there are eight people injured over in Sector 4. Um, oh, hang on. Do we have a medical building? Oh, we do. Oh, the medical building is currently out of action because it's broken down. Okay, great. That That's wonderful. That works out really well. That is splendid stuff. Hang on. There we go. Um, and yeah, I think 
there are two electronics over here now in Sector 4. Maybe, just to finish things off over here, we get rid of that bit of road. So get rid of that. And then we'll build the final two demotic quarters down here. So we'll put one there, one there. Oh, that works out perfectly, because then we can have that little road coming up like that, and then across like that. And that is wonderful. And they should get those in pretty quickly, I think. They'll get those in pretty quickly, because, yeah, we've got the electronics, and we can get the alloys over nice and quick. So, yeah, okay. And that, I think, will give us enough housing for all these chronic pod people that need to be defrosted, which is very good indeed. Okay, right, got loads of science points. Do you want to go and do anything with that? I mean, maybe the infirmaries. Do you want to do that? Ten more beds. That would not be a bad thing at all. Make the infirmaries a little bit bigger so they can treat more people at the same time. Or the EVA airlocks. Hang on. Construction speed increased. Not bothered about that. Repair efficiency increased by 10%. Okay. Do we? That's really good. The moment it's 5%, so another 5% repair efficiency. That'll make it really, really efficient. Okay, do you know what? We might go for that. And then maybe the infirmaries after that. So 32. So we're going to be on what? About 20 points. So when we get 32 points, we'll go and upgrade the infirmaries. Because I think that sounds like a pretty good thing to do. Oh, and batteries. We we're looking at more battery power, weren't we? So sector one has got 7.2 cycles of battery power. That's okay. But yeah, sectors two and three have only got 5.7 and 5.8. Sector four's got loads. Sector four can run on batteries for ages. But yeah, sectors two and three, maybe we could do with a little bit more battery power. I mean, sector, where are we now? Sector three, could we put another big battery in? Because there's a load of room down there. A mat allow sector three, which is quite important. That makes all of our materials. That'll allow that to run for absolutely ages. So yeah, let's pop that into there. That'll sort sector three out for a good long time. Sector two, we haven't got the room for that. We haven't got the space to put down a huge big battery. Maybe we could put down a little battery in that gap there. That'd work out okay. And then I do think we get that in as well. Let's put a stockpile in there. And that could store, say, frozen people. Only 82 frozen people right now. Ah, look, ice is pouring back in. This is very good. That's really good. In fact, maybe that thing could be set up to store more ice. That would be useful. Store much in the way of ice to keep us going for a good long time. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. That stores ice. That stores ice. That big one there is going to store more ice than those two together. So maybe once that's done and they've put loads of ice into there, we get rid of those two. We build another big one of those facing that way, so facing upwards, so it's connected to the road, and then we store more stuff down there. That might be quite a good idea. What do we store in there? I don't know. Maybe more ice. Possibly just you know, make sure we've got loads and loads of ice to keep the water machine thingamajig there running for a good long time. Maybe if we can't get ice, maybe we go to the next system and there's limited ice or whatever. So maybe that could be quite a good idea. Really stock up on ice. Do you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of that. Yes, we're going to get rid of that. Yes. Okay, so get rid of those. Um, yeah, resource hasn't been selected. I know, because we're taking it apart. So move all the stuff into there. Look at that. Flying through. All the resources are gone. All the resources coming out of that one as well. Perfect. Okay. And then go to here. Get rid of that. And then we should be able to fit one of those in that way round which is perfect, so it is connected, and that can store even more ice. So we can have, how much do they store? They store 360, so they can store, hang on a minute, uh, mouth with pain, 720 ice in those two things, rather than 204, 360, whatever we had before, we can store a lot more ice. That is completely brilliant. Okay, that's going to work out very well indeed. And um, yeah, I think we're just... Are we moving the ice over into there? Have we got ice stored over here? Nothing in there. 253 over there. 51 ice in here. Why are we keeping ice in Sector 3? We don't need ice in Sector 3. Can we move ice out of Sector 3? Um, and into Sector 2. Maybe we are moving it. Maybe we're moving it slowly. Um, yeah, we don't... Hang on. Click on ice. Yeah, we don't need to keep any of it. Sector 2, we would like to have all of the, all the ice go into Sector 2. All of it, please. 
put all the ice over here because that's where it should belong. So yeah, we should see that number coming down. 26, 21, 1. Okay, good. And I think as well, if we're storing ice over here, maybe for now we don't store ice over here because we don't need to anymore because there's loads of ice in sector 2 stores. Um, let's get iron. Put some iron into there. So repurpose the ice stores. Take the iron out of that docking bay. Put it into here. And then we can get more silicon, more silicon, memes, more electronics. And everything is going to be wonderful with the world. Right, hooray. Things are looking very good. Again, suspiciously so. And we have 52 science points. So let's go and upgrade the infirmaries. There we go. 10 more people per infirmary. Not a bad thing at all. Oh, somebody's brought back some eyes to sector three. Hang on a second. Who did that? Oh, Pelican and the other one there. The, the long name, the Ash, Akshaya Patra. Don't do that. We don't need eyes back in sector three. Okay, botherations. That's a bit of a nuisance, but never mind. The Neshmet is kind of you know, on ice duty and it's done pretty well. Um, yeah. How are we going to work around that then? Because now we've got 36 bits of ice sitting in there doing nothing at all. And we don't really want them there. We don't have an empty store, I don't think. Two electronics. No, nothing is looking empty at all that we can just repurpose for a moment which is a bit of a nuisance. Do we have to build another little kind of store? Can we put a bigger thing across there? Oh, bother. No, look, it's one, one shot. Oh, hang on. We don't need that. We don't need that road there, though. That road could go away. Away with you, road. Put in one of those. Oh, yes. Perfect. Okay, get that done. We'll put ice in there. And as soon as the ice is in, they'll take it back out again. They'll move it somewhere else. And then we could put something else in there. I'm thinking possibly iron. Because there's 258 iron sitting there in the docking bay that we can't move around. So that might be quite a good, good candidate for some iron storage there. So at the moment, ice, please. So take the ice out of there. So 36 ice should fly out of that in no time at all. Go into here. And then immediately it'll go back out of there and go into sector two. It's like just, just you know, juggling resources. It's fine. So they'll get that done. I thought maybe they'd get that done a bit quicker. But no, they're, they're taking their time. It's okay. It's okay. There's, there's no great rush on things. So now that's done. So no ice in there, which is good. And the ice is now coming out of here because they're moving over to sector two. This is very good. 14 bits left. Come on, clear that out, folks. There we go. Zero. And then switch that round to hold iron. And now we should see a huge load of little vehicles moving the iron over from the docking bay into the stockpile. There we go. Wonderful. It's all working as planned. Oh, and let's not forget to bring the scope back home. Scope, you can now come home. Go back to the tycoon. Don't hang around over there, please. There we go. Wonderful. Did you send a probe out here to just grab a final few bits of silicon and carbon and some ice as well? Because we are working our way through the things out there in the galaxy. There's no more iron to mine. There's a lot of it sort of lying around to pick up. There's none to mine. A little bit of carbon. Now there's a bit of uh, silicon as well. And a decent pile of ice too. And we can store most of it now, which is very good. So I think it's all looking good. We are going to go and grab some more frozen people rather than the ice right now because we did run out of frozen people. It came fairly. I think we had 30 left at one point, was it? Up to 46 now. So we are getting there. But look at that. We only need about, what, 125-ish more people to be defrosted. And then we're going to complete that goal. And then we'll see what happens with that. But I'd like to get that done sort of you know, as soon as we can before we finish up today. So we're just going to tick time on a bit and just try to get another about 100-ish people defrosted and over here living in Sector 4. Sector 2's got some weird housing going on. Look at that. They've got a demotic quarter there. And then next door, two of the little crew quarters. And then another two little crew quarters. And then an optimised quarter as well. So we're not really making the most use of the space over there. So I think what we do is let's get rid of that crew quarters there. Yes, farewell. And that one there. So get rid of that. Replace that with a demotic quarter because that can hold a lot more people than those two combined in the same space. And then maybe we could get rid of that and that and then maybe get rid of those two tier one batteries. And could we fit, uh, fit a tier four battery in that gap? If we clear all that out, I don't know, but it's worth having a look. But yeah, let's just get the Demotic Quarter in over here to start with. There's also a stockpile over here in Sector 2, which is holding 29 silicon. They don't need that over there. They can't do anything with that right now. That must be a sort of a, a legacy thing from when this place did actually have the silicon electronics factory thing in. So maybe we could move that over. So hang on. Silicon. Sector 1's got none. Yeah, look, Sector 2 
does have silicon in it. No, we don't, we don't need that in there. Sector 3 needs it all, please. Sector 3 is where the silicon should be. So, yeah, move that over if we could. That'd be good. Are we going to move it over? Oh, hang on. Yeah, move it over to wall, please. Sector 2, silicon all. Share your silicon, please. Because then, yeah, we can make more stuff out of that. That's a little bit silly, isn't it? Then we could, we could get rid of that. We could get rid of that. We can't transfer it. Is it because the other one is full? Oh, they'll get through it eventually. It's fine. They'll work through it. Right, that is in, which is good. So now I think we can take down that little crew quarters there. So hang on, take that one down. Take that one down, which is wonderful. So those two can go. And then the optimised quarter as well. Can that go? Can we get rid of that as well? And we've still got housing available. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yep, good stuff. Well done, folks. All looking good. There we go. Just take down the old rubbishy housing. Sector 4 seems to have 38 very hungry people. Why is that? One of two mess halls are currently active in Sector 4. Oh, we need two mess halls over in Sector 4 to feed all the people here. Ah, okay, right. Nope, we can deal with that pretty quickly. Hang on, where is it? Uh, food, that would be it. So a mess hall over in Sector 4. Uh, let's put that one down there shall we so there's one kind of over that side let's put another one over here look we'll pop it just there that's okay can we please high prioritize that just get that done really quickly because that's very important that people can eat food 68 hungry people now oh dear okay right they might get a bit grumpy for a little while Sector 4 might get a little bit angry about that, but okay, we're working on it. Right, we'll come back and check that in a second. And Sector 2, how are we doing over here? There's eight silicon in there. Now, can we please just get rid of that silicon? Um, and then, yeah, can we fit a big battery into here? So we could... Um, we could, but it's going to mess up a path. It's going to mess up either the path going up that way which I don't think we should do, because it looks like they're putting water over there. Look, they're getting water to and from that thing. So I think we might have to remove the road on the right-hand side there, which isn't ideal, but never mind. Never mind. It will have to do. So, yeah, get rid of that. Destroy that. Take that battery down as well. And then, yeah, we'll put in a great big battery, which will work a little bit better. Yeah, okay, right. This is fine. We can make this work. It's all going to be glorious. Get rid... Ah, there we go. That is done. So... I think at the moment, do we want to keep that? Or do we get rid of that and put another little battery in, possibly? What else do we need to store over here? I mean, maybe some more food storage would not be a bad thing at all. Repurpose that for food, please. And then what we'll do is, as a final thing, that's not the button I wanted to press. Although we could go and spend some research points. Um, we'll get rid of that to there. So get rid of that for now. That's okay. Um, oh, hang on. No, they, they need the road in at the minute, Penge. No, me, th that was a bit of a boo on my behalf. Again, I shouldn't be allowed to put in charge of anything. Right, put the road back in, Buildy Bot. And then, um, yeah, dismantle these two batteries properly, please. Oh, hang on. I think we've defrosted enough people and now we have an incoming transmission. Okay, hello. Ixion is ready to perform a vol jump on your order. Oh, oh, that's going to be exciting. Okay, so the new objective is now brace yourselves. Vol jump to your next destination. Hang on, we're not quite ready yet. We need to get rid of these things out of here. I think, however, it's full of alloys over here. We have a little bit of an alloy problem over here. Um, okay. Uh, can we build anything new? I don't think we can. Okay, right, hang on a minute, hang on. Let's just go and do some resource shuffling around. So, sector two, um, you've got lots of alloys and you don't need that many. Uh, hang on a second. Sector 1 needs them all. Sector 3 needs them all. Sector 4 needs a huge amount of them. Of course it does. There we go. Right. So move stuff out of Sector 2 into those sectors. Does that mean we can now take these batteries apart? That would be perfect. There's still 35 alloys. Oh, crikey. Okay. No, they're moving it out. Look, we're very slowly but very surely getting rid of it. We have got a lot of alloys and a lot of iron and a lot of everything. It's looking very... Look, reds in so many places. But... Um, 
Yeah, okay, this is a bit of a problem. Hang on, let me go and sort this out. This is a nuisance more than anything else. And finally, that battery has gone at long, long last. It did require a little bit of jiggery-pokery with the whole resource distribution thing, but we got there in the end. So here we go for our final thing today. Let's get a big battery in over here, sure, because that will help a lot with our food sector because we don't really want this sector to run out of power because it provides all of our food and that would generally be a bad thing. So we'll pop that in there it's going to make you know, travel along that road a little bit rubbish, but we should get that sorted nice and quick. 60 alloys, I think we've got that and loads more, and three electronics. I think we're okay. We have 18 electronics right now dotted around the place. So I think as soon as that goes out into here, another bit will come immediately over from, I imagine, Sector 3. Sector 3 has got 11 electronics in it right now. That is wonderful. So uh, yeah, let's wait for that to get completed, shall we? Need a little bit more alloys going in. And then, yeah, they should be able to get a lot of power over here in Sector 2. And I think with some of our research points, let's make the cargo ships even bigger so they can hold even more things. That's got to be a handy thing indeed. So they can store now 40% more resources. That's really handy. And then we do have enough to maybe do one more bit of research. What do we want to look at? Oh, this looks very good. Given that each sector now has its own alternative life center, we could get the Dolos Survivor Families upgrade, which gives us an additional plus one stability to a sector while it's got more than 400 crew. And I'm fairly certain that each sector has at least 400 people in it. I'm fairly certain they've got way more than that. So do you know what? We will have that, thank you very much. And I think, yeah, the next one is plus one stability while it's got more than 800 crew. I don't think we're quite at that point just yet. We're not quite got 800, I don't think. But yeah, so there's what? 525 people in sector one, 524 in sector two, 564 in sector three, and 1,600 people over in sector four. Right, okay, many people live in sector four, a lot of people. But okay, with that done... And with that battery now in place as well. So Sector 2 is going to be able to run on battery power for a good long time once that's charged up. I think we'll finish up for now. And I think as well, we have to say farewell. Do you know what's run time until that's done, actually? I think we have to say farewell to this sort of relatively cushy lifestyle that we've seen over the past couple of videos. Because I think when we do our jump to our next destination, it's going to be quite bad. We might need to stock up on ice just a little bit before we head off. I'd like to have maybe at least sort of 400 ice possibly, that would be wonderful. So we might not jump immediately, but yeah, I think when we go to the next place, it's going to be all sorts of bad. I think it's been quite comfortable for a while and we've been able to get some good stuff done. We've made many resources. We've built lots of buildings. We've done lots of wonderful tech research. But yeah, I think, yeah, we go to the next place, it's not going to be pleasant, is it? It's going to be quite an unpleasant place to be. There's going to be all sorts of carnage and chaos going on. I imagine there's going to be you know, more storms and more environmental effects and the sun's probably going to be, you know, really massive and we're going to melt and all that kind of stuff. So we shall see how we get on next time after a little bit of a break, possibly, to try to get some more ice on board because, of course, we want to make sure we have lots of ice so we can keep on growing lots of lovely food so people don't starve to death. It might be worth possibly rejigging the ships that we have over here and maybe, yeah, like the scope. We could park the scope and then move one of the other cargo ships over from Sector 3 into Sector 2 so we can get two bringing back ice and nice and quick. But we'll look at that for next time, I think. We'll finish things up for now, come back next time, and see how we get on when we jump to our next destination. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Ixion. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Right, if we connect to there and open the door we're going to get vaporized by this laser and there's an electronic thing which looks like a sad kind of game boy <laughs> i'm a tiny little sort of uh, sort of stick person in a in a computer i can't steer the train as such and look we are outside and we're in a gutter oh happy days hello leaf